<laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh my, this is so much fun. It just stretches on for miles. Hey, welcome to Onward Gaming Adventures. My name is Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do some cool microphone tricks within uh, OBS software. So for those of you who don't know, I actually use a program called OBS, uh, which is, stands for Open Broadcaster Software, to, um, to record all my gameplay, to record Minecraft, Dirty Bomb, Insurgency, any, any game I've ever played on my channel, I have recorded with Open Broadcaster Software. So cool things about Open Broadcaster Software, it's free, and it can do essentially anything that you want. So you don't need any fancy capture card or something like that. So I know when I started off my channel, I was thinking, oh my god, I have to buy a $300 capture card to start recording video. Nope. All you got to do is use this program because it's free. It is a free program. Um, but this is not a tutorial about OBS in general. It's a, to it's a tutorial about something specific, something very specific that you can do in OBS uh, to make sure your sound quality sounds nice. Um, well, the first thing you're going to do to get good sound quality is get a good microphone, but again, this is not a tutorial about that. It's a tutorial about something specific that you can do in OBS to make your microphone and your gameplay sound nice. So the problem that I'm looking at today is actually keyboard and mouse noise. So if you play games, you will realize that in order to play those games, you got to hit your keyboard, and the keyboard is not the quietest thing. I'm just going to hit a few keys now. Oops, sweet. I have to bring up a Chrome window so that I don't get weird Windows noises. There we go. So yeah, you, you can hear my keyboard. It's going crazy. And if that's in a video, that kind of sounds unprofessional and a little bit weird. So I set out to fix that. So things you're going to need for this. You're going to need a microphone noise gate plugin. It's going to be found on the OBS website. And you're going to also need a video source plugin, also found on the OBS website. I'm going to link those both down in the description box below. And they're super easy to install, actually. It's just kind of a drag and drop process. But um, the website will help you out with that. The first thing you're going to need to do is obviously set up a source in. OBS. I just have my monitor for this one, but for you it'll be like a game or something like that. Um, second thing, also really simple, is to take a video of something like without any sources. So you're gonna check this box and just hit start recording. And the thing you're gonna do for this video is you're not gonna talk, but you're gonna have your microphone on. So you're gonna be recording the background noise of your whole setup. So ready? I'm just gonna be silent for a moment. I'm gonna turn this off. And you're gonna heal, you're gonna st bleh, still hear me talking, and then I'm gonna stop right about now. So I'm only gonna do it for a few seconds just because this is a video, but you're gonna want to do it for about a minute or so just to kind of make sure that you can get a nice variation of sounds. Um, what you're gonna hear in that is you're gonna hear your fans, you're gonna hear any like chair creaks or uh, just general sounds that the building that you're recording in or your any of your electronics around you are going to make. So light bulbs, I know some types of light bulbs make sounds, so you're going to want to capture all of that. You're going to want to get it all. Um, obviously not in a session, you don't want to like turn on the TV and like be blasting music because that's just going to be weird, but you want to get like the ambient noise. So what you have from there is you have a video with a black background that has the noise of your background on it. So the next thing you're going to want to do is set up the noise gate. You're going to want to go into your setting. No, not settings. Yes, settings. Microphone noise gate. This will show up if you have the plugin. I have a few of them right here. And then you're just going to want to um, you're going to want to set these bars. So what you're going to want to do is just be quiet for a second, and you're going to see that that, that level is right about there. You're also going to want to like press keys just to kind of see how loud that is. 
So I have mine set up at about negative 40 decibels and about 34 decibels. You're going to want to have the close and open six apart. That's the number that I was told, and it's worked for me in the for me so far. So you're going to want to position the close one like just a little bit over the um, the loudest sound that your key is going to make or your mouse is going to make or anything like that just like a little bit over. You're going to want to experiment with this and then this one goes six above that. Don't bother with any of these settings. I know they, they look kind of scary but um, that's all you want to do and then you're going to want to hit enable noise gate. I'm not going to do that now because I can't do that while I'm recording. I'll stop the recording a little bit later. So what the noise gate does, this is really simple. If there, so you're speaking and your keyboard makes a di like different level of sound. Your keyboard makes a quieter sound than you're speaking. That's how you want it. That's how you, that's how you want it. What a noise gate does is it like plops down a gate right in between those two sound levels. So it says that if anything's below that noise gate, it's not. There's no. There's not gonna be any sound. But if there's anything above that noise gate, we're gonna hear it. We're gonna hear it in the video. So that means that you're gonna cut out all your fans. You're gonna cut out all of your keyboard, and it's nice. So I'm gonna stop the recording now, and I'm just gonna let you hear what that sounds like. sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? It's just complete silence. There's no background noise. There's no anything. So the moment you start talking, or stop talking, my bad, your microphone has nothing more to pick up, so it says, hi, I'm done. I'm just going to be quiet for a little while. There we go. So that sounds great and all, and I'm going to press some keys right now so you can hear that it doesn't pick them up. You can see I was typing. There we go. Just smashing the WAST keys. Um, but the microphone wasn't picking it up, which is great. That's awesome. That's the exact thing that I want to do. The only weird thing about that is it sounds like the microphone just cuts out. You don't want that. You don't want the microphone to just cut out because that just, sound, again, sounds weird. And we're trying to eliminate anything that would sound weird. So that video that you took without the noise gate now of your background noise, Here's what you're going to do. You're going to want to go add, whoa, it's a lot of text. I love this infinite loop. Uh, you're going to add video. I'm going to call it background noise, noise, background noise. And you're going to want to find, you want to like set all your settings. Um, this, your, this level right here, if you recorded it with like your audio level, like set here, you should be fine. But if you change the, the loudness of your microphone to say, I don't know, let's say I wanted to go like louder or quieter, then you're going to have to change this. But for now, just let it be. You're going to want to hit output audio to stream. You're not going to need any video filters. It's a black background. And then you're going to want to hit the question mark to find the video. I know it's, it's a weird way, but let me just find it. There it is. Open. Last but not least, you're going to want to hit playlist looping. So the thing is that it adds it to a playlist of videos that you're going to uh, be playing. You only want one video on there, and it's going to want to be your uh, thing, your um, whatchamacallit, your video. All right. So now you got this weird black square cube thing here. You don't want that there. We're actually going to hit order, move to bottom. I'm going to put that there. So now you can see right over here, even though my computer isn't making any sound from the speakers, it's uh, making sound through the stream. So that's actually the sound of my background noise. So what I can do now is I can just be quiet, and nothing will sound weird. There's no weird cutout of the microphone, because what you did is you, like, um, you recorded something to patch the like a bridge to go from the where you stopped and where you start again to kind of fill that gap. So what I can do now is I'm just going to go bring up Chrome again so I can type and I'm just going to press some more keys and it's going to sound like nothing has ever happened. Oh, 
So then you saw that there was like one or two keys that I pressed a little bit too loud. So I'm going to want to readjust my noise gate for that. But just proving that I was actually typing and not just uh, pretending not to. There we go. So that should give you a nice kind of even sound for your videos. And even if you have a, like a game on top of that, you're going to be able to hear that if you don't do this, this like background noise step. You're going to hear the cutout. The thing that the video game usually does is it makes it so that you can't really discern between the background noise and the game. So it's going to kind of hide the background noise of both your microphone and your like simulated background noise. And it's not going to pick up any of the, it's not going to hear the weird drop in mic noise. So there's that. Everything's all good. Yeah, I think, I think that's that kind of the whole tutorial that took me five or ten minutes? I don't know. But, uh, anyway. Bye!